Hi everyone, it's me, Lizette Lopez, and today I will be showing you my first aid kit box that I've put together for my family. Um, first, I'm going to go over 15 essential and must-haves, and then I'll go a little bit more in-depth into additional items that I have just for my family. Here's a sneak peek of everything that I'll be going over. First is adhesive tape. Aspirin, bandages, a pack of 2x2 two two gauze pads, also um, called sponges, rolled gauze, surgical scissors, surgical tweezers, latex gloves, triangular bandage, glucose tablets, antiseptic wipes, Soap wipes, a small notepad or paper. Also, I like to keep a pen and pencil. On the back, I've included emergency phone numbers. And in the front, I keep basic first aid kit instructions. Matches in a plastic bag to keep them dry. Hand sanitizer gel. And the last essential that I have is an ACE elastic bandage with safety pins. Now I'll be going over other items that I've included for my family. First is a COVID test. In case any of us start showing any symptoms, we can conveniently take a test at home. This will help us make informed decisions. A two-in-one safety hammer emergency escape tool. In case of an accident, we can easily break a window and cut our seatbelt. Pain, burn, and itch spray. Great for mosquito bites. Medical face masks. They shield us from potential airborne viruses. We suffer from seasonal allergies. Using the mask can prevent or minimize an allergic reaction. Instant cold compress in case my kids fall at the park. This will minimize swelling. Antibacterial wet wipes. They're highly effective in killing bacteria on surfaces. Also, it is an alternative to using hand sanitizer gel. Emesis bag for vomit in case anyone gets carsick water bottle, and electrolyte mix in case anyone needs to hydrate quickly. A portable phone charger along with the cable. In case of an accident, we can stay in touch with emergency rescue service. Stuffed animal toy dog to help my kids cope if they get scared um, in any upsetting situation. Stethoscope to listen to heart and respiratory sounds. Latex-free tourniquet. This can be used to apply pressure to limbs, to control blood flow, or to reduce blood, blood loss in a serious accident. Nail clipper to clean dirt from under my kids' nails if they play with mud at the park. A permanent marker to assist in tracking the duration of tourniquet use or on an injured person's forehead. Elastic hair ties to keep my hair away from my face if I'm assisting anyone with the wound. Duct tape to help remove cactus spines or even splinters. Ammonia inhalant to arouse consciousness if anyone faints. An EpiPen in case of anaphylaxis, um, which is a severe life-threatening allergic reaction. So it's very important to have this in my first aid kit. Flashlight in case of a nighttime accident. We can flash this to alert people.